it says Cleveland, but it looks like a bunch of bridesmaids. <laughs> it's out here cold, and they're with their bride. They must love their bride. <laughs> Welcome to Derek's Destinations, downtown Cleveland. Yep, folks, population, 400,000 folks-ish. This is Cleveland. I think it's kind of pretty, actually. You know? I kind of like downtown. That's a memorial fountain, eternal life. I don't know if you can see the POW flag flying on the, on the pole there, but when you see these other, uh, what do you call it, buildings and stuff down here, we'll give it up a little bit high there. Yeah, there you go, that's pretty high. That big building right over there, just an auditorium, but it looks kind of impressive, don't it? I kind of like this fountain area. It'll get you a little bit more view of this fountain. It was designed by an art student <clears throat> here in Cleveland. It's pretty impressive. Rather pretty. I uh, just thought this was a pretty place to stop. Check things out. You know, we came from Niagara Falls to here. And, uh, I kind of like Cleveland. It has a lot going for it. I mean, it's a pretty town, uh, downtown. Lot to see. Can you see the fountain? I hope you can. I give you a better view of it. <laughs> I'm trying to back up so you can see it. Beep, beep, beep. Anyway. <coughs> yeah, my big old but I have to do a beep, beep sound. But anyway, pretty cool, huh? Pretty impressive. I don't know what the buildings are behind me, but... They're pretty impressive. You got the Marriott here. I'm sure that whole thing, the building there is not Marriott, but you know, and that's more of a park, which is pretty cool actually. Well, let's see a little bit of downtown. We're gonna head on over to the Rock and Roll Museum and see what's going on there. Well, we're still downtown Cleveland, but we're on the lake, pretty much. Uh, long live rock, right? That's what this place is. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Let me turn you around. Let you get a quick view. Across there is the uh, Coast Guard Station. Real close to that. And there's an airport just over there too. I think private, personal, not personal, but small commercial airport. But anyway, and this is the site of the rock and roll hall of fame you know what do you think big old pyramid glass long live rock powered by pnc whoever that is right nobody knows except for pnc <laughs> oh gosh that's pretty cool yeah i don't think we're going to go into there but uh you know it's interesting the notorious big tick mode the doobie brothers whitney houston nine inch nails t-rex irving that's how see some some of these maybe i don't know you know looks like they got event trucks that's what they're called out here. The back side of the long live rock and roll. And I mean, I even see a sign over here with Johnny Cash on it. Now, imagine that. Let's see what this is right here. Uh, okay, let's see. I think these are people who have donated to have these bricks put in here. 
you know? I see that happening in a lot of places. You know, people will, you know, to build something like this will buy bricks for donations to put in. I think it's pretty, pretty common around the USA these days for something like that. Let's see what they got. Oh, okay. I see what this is. This was the Johnny Cash tour bus. Ah, okay. Let's take a look at it. I don't know if they opened it up and let people go inside or not, but uh, we'll see. I mean, I can see inside a little bit, but I don't know if that means you can if I were to put the camera up there, but we'll check it out. Let's go around to the other side. Uh, it's got a little bit of a step up here, actually. Uh, let's see. I can see in it. Can you? Inside of Johnny Cash's bus. Let's see here. Can we see more? Can you see inside there? Oh, I can actually see better than what I can. All right, let's go to the next window. More of the same, right? There's curtains. Uh, real dark curtain there. Let's see. Nothing. I mean, now that's blacked out right there totally can't see anything let's see here we go what's in there can you see I see a seat and a couch Oop, now I gotta step down you see anything in here pretty cool huh more blackout more blackout Oop. see in there just a little bit right let's see if i can get it here from the front that's the inside of johnny cash bus let's see if we can go over here to the side i'm gonna try this other side let's see what do you see in there all right okay you see a little bit in there maybe maybe not I mean it helps let's try this one place right here well I guess that was Johnny Cash's bus so uh, we'll go on and check out something else now we're inside but we don't know what we're doing we're just we're walking around single excavator only one person in a road you know oh wow look at these the categories Pretty cool, huh? And looking outside at the Cleveland skyline, I don't know if you can see it or not. I don't know how this video will do because with the music, I'm probably gonna have to blank out some of it for copyright strikes. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, we just did the tour of the Rock and Roll Hall of Museum. Well, let me share a little something with you. By accident, we got into the museum for free. And literally, that's what happened. We were in the free area, just looking at things, and made a left turn. And it, because of COVID, they have traffic and everything going one way. I guess it's because of COVID but and we got confused and we went upstairs the next thing you know we're inside 
<laughs> we didn't know it until we're about halfway through and we're like well we're seeing a lot of this you know is this all free and then we asked a lady and she was like no it's not you know you have to pay to see all this and we're like okay well anyway um it was an accident we didn't get to see the whole thing but we showed you i'm sure at least 90 percent of it well that's it for the rock and roll museum or hall of fame i should say actually uh some things in there i'm sure are going to be museum pieces or if they aren't already i know they are you know but uh we're gonna go on to the next and new thing hang with me <laughs> you never know we i might be out too it's a little nippy out here y'all well what i want to show you now is if you walk around the back side of uh the the rock roll museum is it kind of goes underneath which i think you see here and you can see out i think i may have taken a video of that part but you know you, you come to the rock and roll museum and you know maybe sometimes in my videos i don't consider the kids too much i don't think about them but you know here if you, for the adults especially the rock and roll museum and depending on the age of your child you know they will enjoy the, the rock and roll uh, hall of fame i'm sorry to say not the museum but uh is right next to it is the science center now i love science center um being from north carolina uh I don't know if Raleigh has one, but they do have, I think it's like a natural museum with science sort of mixed into there. It's pretty awesome to go through. And in Raleigh, North Carolina, that's for free. Uh, I don't know about this one. Um, but if you get a chance, come down here. Well, as you see, it does give you a view of the waterfront, right? All right. So that by itself is, a, is enough to take a stroll down here, but being and it's late october and yesterday it was 70 some and today it doesn't not getting above 47. um it's called the great lakes science center this is it right here you know and it's also right on the water now i'm not going in there i don't have anything i'm gonna really show you about it except that it's right here downtown beside the rock and roll hall of fame and with that being said you know it's it's on the water there's a few boats over there i think maybe you get a better view now of of how it's looking out here but all this here is is on the lake you know which is pretty by itself you know and the lake almost seeming like an ocean because you you know the and the horizon is nothing but water so uh if you get the opportunity come here you know patronize it see it patron it see it uh looks like there is a little free kids playground here you know and the walking couple up there walking ahead of me in this big ship now and some drag lines and i don't know what that building is i know the coast guard is right over there somewhere but i still don't know what that building is and i don't know if you can see it right over there can you see all those seagulls on the dock they're just sitting there by those ships I guess this time of year flying through the air is kind of chilly but i'm trying to walk around this science building to give an opportunity to see what's out here of course this big old ship here has me interested as to what's going on with it so they're doing some construction see the nastiness see see that's i don't want to I want my videos to be real. I'm not gonna hide stuff from you. I want you to see what's there. I want you to see it, you know? So I don't know what this boat is, but it's got a thing hanging out the side of it. Steamship William G. Mather Museum, open May through October. Uh, well, it's October and it's not open. I do see like a ramp or something, but I guess you have to go to one end or the other. So William G. Mather, Cleveland Heights. This is a museum. I'm assuming you can go in it. I'm assuming you can go in it and check things out. Let's see what it is. Let me get this sign here for you. And this is part of the Science Center. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let me, let you read it. Steamship Mather. 
close November through April. So adults like nine bucks, nine bucks, you know, Saturday, 11 a.m. to five. I don't know what time it is right now, but you know, I think it's closed, but that's it, you know, and I thought that was pretty interesting. Come to the other side of it. So you see, which I don't know if there'll be any ball game here, but is the uh, first energy stadium. Okay. I was hoping to, I was hoping to get a view of the lake, but you know, they built that dike or a berm or whatever it is out there. And uh, you know, at times I can see water splashing across the top of it just just like the dang ocean you know um wow this is pretty cool things have changed a little bit i think since 20 years ago when i was here um and and maybe i'm remembering wrong but i'm remembering when i was in the back here by the lake that steps kind of led down to the lake now, some of you who may remember or know what's happened can enlighten others who are watching this because I don't know. I mean, maybe my memory's wrong, but that's just what I remember. Prison Mark, how much is it on board? Calismo Mark, what is that? Ah, okay. Basically, when you load the ship, it sinks, and those marks let you know what's the safety level. Hey, I didn't even go in the museum, and I learned something. See? Gee, how much better can it get? Well, let's walk on down here and see. But, looks like somebody else is wanting to do what I did. Trying to get a view of the, get a view of the lake. And this is Lake Erie, by the way, that we're on. Um, so, and I'm almost at the end. I don't know if that would have been the entry or exit in to see this museum, but either way, it's pretty cool. It's the back of the ship. I would have thought the would have maybe started back there where we were at. You can see part of the propeller sticking out. Which means this thing can really get loaded down with some stuff. Wow, the gates have been blew over. But see the propeller down in there? I mean that that was it. I mean, this gate has blown down. I want y'all to see that I did not do it. I did not do it, but I want to step out here and see this. Okay, let's go see right quick. Hope I don't get in trouble. I might get in trouble. But this is Lake Erie. And can you see that line of rocks out there? That's the berm or dike or whatever they want to call it. Breakwater maybe that they put in. And uh, you can see the lake. Makes the water a little more calm. But I can see out there on some of those, the waves are hitting and the water is splashing above them. And there's a park over there. Could have walked over there and shown you the park. But downtown Cleveland. <laughs> but I took the long way around, didn't I? So, you know, hey. Okay, now I'm safely back on the other side. Well. For this segment, I'm gonna end it right here till I can get over to another area. If there is another area. Uh, it's chilly out here, folks. My fingers are getting numb. But anyway, William G. Mather is part of the Science Museum. The Science Center, you know. I get, I get, I wanna put museum in here somewhere, don't I? I gotta find a museum, so maybe I'll stop this. Cause that's the Hall of Fame and this is a Science Center. All right, folks, I'll be back with you in a minute. Uh, I got to thinking. I went over there and, you know, 
kind of showed that I stepped over a fence that had fallen down. Well, <laughs> you're not supposed to do that. So I thought I'd maybe show you the right way to get over to see Lake Erie and it be legal, okay? All right, so all you do is there's steps uh, on one side of uh, the Hall of Fame and there's a road just directly on the other side of the Hall of Fame. Both lead a little more back to this area, which I'll show you, I hope, <coughs> is going to take us out there. But this area will get you back there um, if you find yourself a little lost. But the main thing to do is to really take the road you know, if you take the stairs, you'll just walk underneath and come back over to the road either way through a parking lot and uh, get over here to, to go see the park. Got a gentleman that looks like a veteran over here doing something. Maybe we'll be back and check in with him in a minute. But I don't know if you see it. Now I'm on the street side. I just basically walked under the hall of fame or on this side and you see the street leading down cleveland bike tours uh, they're not there anymore either that or shut down for the season because end of october is it for uh for some of these things i know the the ship was showing that it was from may through october but i don't know about the actual science center you know uh so you'll need to check online for most of that information. Small something here, I don't know what, but it's not open. And at the very end of this street, there is pay parking. Now on the weekends, Friday and Saturday, I know Saturday and Sunday, I don't know what it said about Friday, but parking on the street was free, okay? And that, that wasn't an issue. If I'd have kept going straight and not go through the parking lot, this is where I would have come through. So either way, no matter how you choose, you'll come through and you'll end up coming out to the park. Uh, looks like a bar down here. I was hoping it was something with a little more substance to it, but it's not, it's a bar. Nuevo, modern Mexican and tequila bar. I mean, pretty bar, but wow, okay. Good time three ticket office. What is that? Ah, cruises down here at the end. Huh. They made it look nice, but it's a little mobile home. Oop, best tree. Little mobile home for cruises, you know? And there's the ship. There's the good time cruise. Right there, good time three. Good time three. You know, I don't know how much tickets are. Let's see here. Dum -da -dum -da -dum -da -dum -dum -dum. $30 for adults, $15 for cheering. Okay, y'all keep that in mind. Uh, make all reservations online. They might have a ticket office. Maybe it's because of COVID and they've had to adjust. Be flexible, you know. Do y'all know who Gumby is? That's why they're flexible, you know. Good time three. Because of COVID, got to be flexible. And Gumby was floki. It was floki. <laughs> See, I'm not going to edit that out. You know, I want things to be real. Um, who was Gumby's good friend, pal, confidant? Do you know? Okay. Pokey. You know what they are? You know what they are? Well, it's a game. Although I don't know how to pronounce a word, I think the game is where you throw balls and the rules are somehow you get close to a certain ball or something. Okay, vocal cords. And there is your good time three. Okay. Now, I'm not promoting them. I mean, they're not paying me for anything. I'm just showing you what's here, you know? Now, if they want to, I'd, I'd be glad to speak out for them, you know? <laughs> just give me give me an email it, it's in my uh it's in my profile for youtube but basically the park somebody got something going on around there see me onions coming back from doing something 
usually it's wrong, right? If youngins are coming back from doing something, they've done something wrong, right? I don't know, but we're gonna take these little steps. This is the park. See, I'll give you a 360 here. All right, 360. Okay, we're gonna go to the top of it and see what we can see there. Hmm. All right, a lot more lake. I'll show you in a minute. Calm down, have some patience. I'll show you in a minute. You know? So. Ta da! Almost there, almost there. Almost. There. Anticipation building yet? <laughs> yeah, I know I'm not doing a very good job. But, but hey, and there's a walkway. Let me let you see. There's the ship. There's the walkway with the breakwater out there. Okay. And don't know if you can see it, but that's the little airport over there I was talking about. They got some nice property right on the, right on the lakefront. And I don't know if you can see that one Coast Guard ship, but there it is. And there's downtown Cleveland. With that being said, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for saying something. Thanks for a thumb up. If you didn't like something, I even thank for the thumb down, you know? Maybe to teach me to do something a little different. You know, I'm open-minded here. I, I like the criticism, good and bad, but I know there'll always be some bad and I can't do anything about it, but I'll try my best, okay? So if you liked what you saw, subscribe, please put on a notification so you don't miss my next one. I hope to be a little more regular on here. Kind of like, as you get older, you want to be regular, <laughs> but it don't always happen, trust me. But anyway, I hope to be a little more regular in posting, and I hope to improve a little bit more at the time. Subscribe, hit your notification, tell your friends about me, share my videos, let people know, hit me out, hit the man out, who's going to be semi-retiring or retiring very soon and needs all the help he can get. <laughs> One more thing. It says Cleveland. It says Cleveland and in there somewhere. <laughs> it says Cleveland, but it looks like a bunch of bridesmaids. It's out here cold. And they're with their bride. They must love their bride. <laughs> but it does say Cleveland in there somewhere. <laughs> See you shivering. Oh, well. Uh, this was kind of a postscript. I just wanted to share. Bye, y'all.